What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have our new treasure map versus Yamato has begun and uh, the teams you got to see in this video are essentially the same teams that I talked about a day or two ago, the ones talking about my own personal teams and you know nothing has really changed aside from maybe a couple of supports. I've now added some stat supports on some of my characters just to make sure I'm doing enough damage, you know the feel. Uh, but of course we have this first team versus Yamato. This is a bonus map. We're on navigation level 15 in this video and we're up against Yamato and honestly no issues thus far. We have, uh, you know, luckily enough to pull the booster Ushi Maru helps out a ton getting rid of that stun debuff and you know it is kind of frustrating because if you don't have Uchimaru getting around stun is actually very difficult in this event I really wish that they were boosting a few more characters that you know actually had abilities to reduce HP or I wish that if they were so hell-bent on introducing stun in this event that they released a free-to-play character that came out you know somewhat recently that does have HP reducing mechanics and you know PKA Sanji technically is that but I feel like for newer players coming into the game, they're not going to have PKA Sanji. So I think it's a bit of a poorly designed event, especially because you're bringing in so many new players with this event due to the Gear 5 celebration. I don't feel like this is a very good treasure map for newer players. Albeit that, you know, in East Blue, you are going to have easier gimmicks to deal with. Nonetheless, we, we personally deal with this, uh, with this Yamato fight very comfortably. In this clip, we'll actually take on King during the mid-map. I don't normally do that, but due to the way that the map was kind of configured, we ended up doing that. So this is the team that I'm using versus King, which is just using the full EZO squad, essentially. Uh, and you know, some very key supports, I will say. Some supports making this team uh, run a bit more efficiently. But of course, not everyone is going to be able to run this exact team. I completely understand that. This fight is ridiculous, by the way. I feel like if you are struggling to beat King, always fight him in the mid-map so you don't have to fight him at the end. For those who don't know, when you fight the boss in the middle of the map, they are going to have the same HP as they did at level 1. If you fight them at the end, they're going to have the same level or the, the higher level HP depending on your navigation level. So to make it easier on everyone, you know, fight him on the mid-map. It makes it a lot easier for many people out there. But if you have a really well-built team, you can basically beat him during any time. What? So moving on to the first Battle Rush boss that when we reach the end is going to be against Ushimaru. So we're going to be using a bunch of non-boosted units on our teams to get through the Battle Rush bosses a bit more efficiently. So we've got the Rayleigh Gaban Captain. They're so good because they have hunger, so it deals with that. Their switch effect removes four turns of bind. We have the support of Otama attached to Big Mom to remove an additional two turns of that bind. I originally was running Mr. 3 support on Rayleigh Gaban to reduce some of the damage that we were taking. However, by changing my ship around, to get a bit more health we can actually just tank the damage anyway so that actually isn't really a problem at all so damage reduction is not needed we also have the towel nami support attached to ulti and black maria to give us a color affinity boost very very easy fight with this team Moving on to Omusubi, this team is so much fun to use, it's so good because we only have to launch one special when we reach the final stage and we can instantly knock out the boss. So because Rayleigh is so good and resisting a special bind, we can use his special without having to remove that effect. We've got some really key supports as well that are helping us out, namely the support rare recruit uh, Mihawk, which reduces enemies defense to zero on the final stage. And then with the Rayleigh special, we can bypass the threshold. We've got the Luffy uh, captain, which gets Gets rid of the despair and some key supports giving us some additional damage with the Sabo and uh, with the Sanji attached to Rayleigh as well to generate some slots and give us more damage. Let's go. 
Moving on now to the final Battle Rush boss of the video versus Tempura. We're going to be using, once again, lots of non-boosted units, but using uh, Cat Viper as the captain and then Dog Storm sub helps us get through this fight very easily. This is like one of the quintessential combos that a lot of people use to speed farm treasure map fights, as we can use the super type special of Cat Viper to wave clear both of the stages. We have Hiori sub to give us the full board of Wano at the start of the quest. We enter the last stage with that, which is good. Hiori special getting rid of Bind and Despair. Nami Rob and getting rid of the paralysis as well as providing an orb boost you can also use cat viper special first and then use nami robin special to get an attack boost instead so this is going to last a pretty long time in this entire treasure map And then, of course, we get to the final boss, which is going to be versus Kaido, using Momonosuke as our captain. The only real key support for this team to work is going to be Kaidad, Kinemon, Denjiro, Ashura, and Dogstorm attached to Momonosuke. As when we're inflicted with attack down, we remove it by two turns. With the Perona special, we remove an additional five turns. So that gets rid of all of that attack down, meaning we can save the Momonosuke special for stage four. And that will allow us to get rid of the Rainbow Shield. And because the attack boost that we have from Momonosuke at stage one is carried all the way through to the end, we don't have to worry about the interrupt if we use an attack boosting special. And that's, I think, what they really wanted many people to do in this event. Then we've also got Luffy as the sub, of course, because he can give us some big damage. We don't even actually have to use him here, at least not at the moment. We've also got Bonnie, which gets rid of the paralysis on the final stage because I don't have the Tempura Rare Recruit. The front captain, Omusubi, getting rid of the increased defense and giving us a chain lock is very powerful. And then we also have uh, Old Mate, uh, Ushimaru, getting rid of stun, giving us an orb boost. Really, really strong stuff. But all of that being said, that is going to wrap it up for me. These are the teams that I'm using currently on Treasure Map. I don't plan on changing them anytime soon soon unless if i see some really fast teams out there that i may want to switch to but at the moment it's working pretty well pretty comfortably and that's what i'm going to be sticking to but good luck to everyone with your treasure map grind hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video